Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I missed y'all so much. I'm so happy to be filming today because we are going to be checking out a new foundation release. So this is the new Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Liquid Foundation. This retails for $42 and it's available in 30 shades. I'm going to be checking out the shade 19C for today. So this is supposed to be a breathable luminous foundation that's supposed to be easy to build and blend and give you customizable long wearing coverage. It has a natural finish with a medium coverage so for those of you who are new here I have an oily acne prone skin type and my complexion product reviews they cater to the 40 and over crowd but of course everyone is welcome here so I'm going to give you guys my first impression on this and then we're going to be doing an all-day wear test I'll let you know at the end of the video if I think you should check this out so let's jump right into it okay I'm going to shake this up so that we can get all the ingredients flowing and let me give you guys a quick um, hand swatch of this again this one is the shade 19 C y'all know I get so excited when I can find a cool undertone for foundations and concealers because I often cannot find that so I think this is going to be a really good match for me yeah that looks like it's gonna blend in really nice so again this is the shade 19 C so lately I have been wearing a primer underneath my foundation. I've been using the Danessa Myricks um, Blurring Balm Powder, like the universal shade as a primer. Um, but again, for those of you who are new here, I don't test out foundations with primers. I consider primers to be kind of like a um, performance enhancing type of product. So I just had my skincare on and we're gonna go right in with the foundation. And I'm gonna be blending with my Morphe E63 brush. I always get asked what brush this is, so I will try to remember to link it in the description but it's the morphe e63 so i'm gonna start off with about a half a pump of foundation and i always blend on the cheek area first this is always where i want the most coverage so this is supposed to be a medium coverage and it's definitely giving me medium i feel like it's blending out really nicely too that blended out really nicely and it looks really pretty. I might have to go on the forehead with a little bit more product later on, but I'll see after I do the other side. I usually don't put too much foundation on the forehead. So I am gonna go back and build this up with a little bit more, but before I do that, this side has about a half a pump of foundation on it and this side doesn't have anything at all. So I don't have a whole lot of product over here, but I think it blended out really nicely. And I think it gave me a good amount of coverage for the amount of product that I use. So let me know what your first impression is. So far, so good. I'm thinking, depending on how it wears during the day, I'm thinking I might have to do a follow-up video on this. I'm thinking I might have to do like a Makeup by Mario versus Makeup Forever HD skin. So let me know if y'all would be interested in that. But that's the vibe I'm getting so far. It's reminding me of Makeup Forever. All right, let me put some on the other side. Yeah, I'm liking the way this is blending out. And as expected, this one is a really nice shade for me. So I know a lot of y'all don't have the same undertone that I have. I actually met somebody in the comments on one of my videos. Her name is Sonia and she spells it with a Y and we're foundation twins. So if you're watching this, Sonia, hey girl, I never find like foundation twins. So <laughs> I was really excited to meet her. But anyway, this is 19C. It's a good shade match for me, but I know a lot of y'all don't have um, the same undertone that I have. Okay, so this is one layer of the product. And lately, this is like the level of coverage that I've been going for for my foundation. I've been using like less product. So this to me is good, but I am going to go and build it up. Let's see if we, we can build it up and get any more coverage. But I like it so far. It looks very skin-like, very natural. And I do think I'm getting a medium coverage. So I'm going to go in with like another half a pump. And again, I'm still concentrating this second pump on the cheek area to give me the most coverage there. And I don't think I need to put like any more foundation on the forehead because when I go in with my setting powder, the powder is gonna give me a little bit of coverage too. So I think we're good. Like this area here, the cheek area, that's always where I'm like testing out foundations anyway. And then I'm just building up on the other side too. Now, I don't know if I would consider this 
to be a buildable foundation and I don't think that that was one of the claims. I feel like that second layer is giving me like the same amount of coverage. So let me see if, if it said that it was buildable. I don't remember reading that. Oh, it does say it effortlessly builds and blends. So I don't think that the second layer gave me any more coverage. I feel like I'm getting a straight medium coverage out of this, which is what it claims to do. But it does build in the sense that the second layer like blends really nicely on top of the first layer, but it's not buildable in terms of like giving more coverage. This is very skin like. It looks really pretty. Like to me, it looks like just like my skin. So let me know what your first impression is. So far, so good. I'm gonna quickly put my concealer on and then I will show y'all how I'm gonna set the foundation in a second. Okay, so my concealer is on, so the foundation has been sitting for about five or so minutes. So I wanted to show y'all what it looks like one more time before I go in and set it because the powder is going to slightly mattify um, the foundation. So one of the things that I don't agree with so far in the claims is that it says it's a luminous foundation. So I don't think that I'm getting that and I wanted y'all to um, chime in before I go on top of it with powder. To me, it just looks like a really nice, natural, like skin-like foundation, but it doesn't look luminous to me. Now, you know how when you put on a liquid foundation, because it's liquid, it makes your skin look a little wet? Like I did notice that, and I feel like maybe I, you know, a little bit, I'm still noticing that, but I don't think that I'm getting like a luminous finish at all. To me, it just looks very like natural and skin-like, but let me know what y'all think but I'm gonna go in and set the foundation so this is my um, Kosas cloud set powder this is the one that I use every single time I'm testing out a foundation so I do already have some setting powder right on the immediate under eye area so I'm just gonna take some more of this powder on this brush and then just set the rest of the face and let's just do a side by side really quickly just to see how much the setting powder changes the finish of it because we know it's going to slightly mattify. So powder over here, no powder over here. I mean, now I can see a little bit more luminosity over here because there's no setting powder like compared to this side, but I don't think that I'm getting like that luminous finish, but you know, I think it still looks really nice. All right, let me quickly put on the rest of my makeup and we will start our wear test. Okay, so here is our makeup for today. So my first impression on this new foundation, I'm liking it so far. Like I said a million times already, I think it looks very natural, very skin-like, definitely a medium coverage. The only thing I'm not agreeing with is the luminosity, but for those of us who have oily skin, that might be a good thing anyway, because we need to see like how oily we get during the day. So, so far, so good. So let's start our wear test it's going on nine o'clock in the morning so I'm gonna do a check-in midway through and then we're gonna shoot for eight hours in total and then we will wrap things up at the end so I'll see y'all in a little bit okay so we are halfway through the wear test and this is what my face is looking like I am holding my phone so I'm sorry if it's you know shaking a little bit but um, normally at the halfway mark I would touch up if I felt the need to today I don't think that I need to touch up right now so I am a little shiny in my t-zone which is typical I always get shiny on the nose first and I'm sure you guys can make out that shine on the nose however I don't think that I need to touch up so I think that now I'm seeing that luminosity but that's my oils coming through that's not the foundation um but despite you know the oils coming through i think it looks good for four hours in so i'm gonna wear it for another few hours and then i'll give y'all my final thoughts okay so it's almost 5 30 in the evening so we're pretty much just like maybe 20 or so minutes past the um, eight hour mark. So this is what my face is looking like. So remember when I did the halfway mark check-in, I didn't bother to touch up the makeup. I thought my face was looking just a little bit shiny, but nothing too crazy. So I didn't bother to touch it up. And I still feel like after eight hours for me to have oily skin, this is supposed to be a luminous foundation, even though I don't agree that it's luminous, but I feel like with my skin type, I think that the uh, makeup did wear pretty well for eight hours, but I am going to touch up, especially around the nose area, just so we can see what that looks like. So I'm just taking a piece of tissue and I'm just blotting 
my nose and my forehead. I'm just gonna blot the cheek area too, but it was more so the nose area that I felt was the most shiny. And then I'm just going to repowder with the same Kosas powder. So whenever I do this step, when I touch up the makeup, what I'm looking for is I wanna see if the makeup stays intact, especially when I blot off that excess oil. Does any of the makeup itself like come off or is it pretty much intact? So as expected, it does look a lot better now. But like I said, I thought it looked okay um, for it being eight hours on oily skin. So my final thoughts on this new Makeup by Mario foundation. If you have a similar skin type to me, again, I'm oily and acne prone. I do think this is worth trying out. Now I will be doing a follow-up video on this. I'm going to do Makeup by Mario versus Makeup Forever HD Skin. Because if you already have this, I do think that these two foundations are very similar. So please be on the lookout for that but I really like this foundation and I think this is gonna go in my rotation so thank you so much for watching if you like the video please let me know by giving me a thumbs up make sure you're subscribed before you head out and I will see y'all back here for my next one until then take care have a good one y'all bye